So here we have one of my favorite two-minute tips, the custom material library. This is also known as the manage material library button inside of the software. My name is James Herzing. I'm a technical consultant here at Autodesk. All right, so what are we doing here? This is how we can create our own material libraries. We can make new libraries, we can copy existing ones and then edit the materials, or we can add libraries that somebody else created and put them into our program. A few tricks inside of our tips and tricks. You can save these files to the network so that everyone in your company can use the same materials. So if you have to do special testing and verification to make sure that your materials are set up properly, not everybody has to do it on their own. One person can make the library and everyone can use it. Also, if you go to MatWeb, you can import .xml files and uh, create materials that way for your library. So let's go into the software now, take a look at where these buttons are and some of the advantages that we can find. All right, so we're used to this BRAC model by now, but the model isn't important. If we click on Tools, we can click on Manage Material Libraries in the Options, and we can see the screen that pops up to help us set up our library. Right now, we have the default Autodesk Sim library. These values can't be edited. We could choose to copy this library, and then the values of these materials could be changed, but the one that comes with the software cannot be modified. We're going to go ahead and click the New button, and in here, just type in whatever we want our material to be, or our library to be saved as. I'm calling it Library because I'm very creative. And then I'm going to right click and choose to add a new material. So when I do that, a big pop up shows up. We can choose the material name. So if it's a steel, we type in steel. Or if it's a specific name, we type that in. I'm calling it Material 1. Then we choose what type of material model we want. I'm going to go with standard for this one just because it's a linear static material that I'm working with. You can choose whichever you want. Here's a good thing to note, choose your units. It doesn't matter what you use, just what, whatever you have your values in. If you then change your analysis, say, to metric, even though the material was defined in English, it will automatically calculate that for you. So let's click OK, and now you can see our material exists, but no values are in here. All you have to do is click and type in some values for modulus. Poisson's ratio, whatever you have. The more you fill in, the more diverse this material is, so the more it could be used for. But you really don't need to define all that many, especially for a linear statics analysis. So with that done, click the Save button. And now, what if we want these in those nice folders like the default library? Again, right click and add new material library category. And we can type it in, say this is a steel. Then just click and drag our material into that folder, and there we have it nicely organized. So if you have all sorts of different types of materials, you can put them into these folders and you'll know exactly where to find them. So with that done, we can go ahead and exit this screen. We can first take a look at all of these different libraries we have. We see it's now added. And now if we go over to the material and choose to edit it, instead of using the default sim mechanical one, we can go to library. Hey, and there's material one, just as we set it. If we click OK, we're going to replace what was there and now we see the material name, Material 1. So our material with its properties are being used, so we never have to define this material ever again. It's always going to be saved there. So this is a big trick, helps people save a lot of time. I would really suggest doing this and saving it on the network for everyone in your company to be able to use the same materials. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, reach out to me at the Sim Squad. Also, let me know if you have any other tips you'd like to see. Thanks a lot.